Don't you ever have someone come to you and give you a really good tip that lets you thinking? Or perhaps it's a book that you read and really blows your mind. For me it's this one. As I'm turning 27 years old in a few couple of days, I thought it would be a pretty good idea to go over 27 tips that I received throughout my life that completely changed the way I think. The first one is don't do it for the money. Straightforward. Just if you do something, don't do it because you need the money. Just do it because you believe in it. That leads to the second one, which is do what you love and money will follow. So if you actually do something that you enjoy doing, let's say on your day to day, you do a hobby or something and eventually the money will follow. One that my girlfriend gives me a lot, if it takes less than two minutes, do it now. I have to say that one applies to a lot of things, for example, maybe dishes or folding laundry, but a lot of times it just not worth it. Be a person of your word. Yes means yes and no means no. If you say that you're gonna be doing something, just do it and commit to it. Set clear goals. When you set clear goals, you actually allow yourself to work towards something and it makes it easier for yourself to see a way to get there. Let's say that by the end of the year, I want to have 10,000 subscribers. If I put the work, I'm going to get there, I have my goal and hopefully I'll get there. And even if you don't get there, if you don't get to the, I don't get to the 10,000 subscribers, I'll be as close enough. I'll be maybe 5,000, maybe even 1,000 and that will be better than where I'm currently at right now. And that leads to the next, next one, which is embrace failure as a learning opportunity. If you succeed, great, you succeeded on your goal. Yet, if you don't succeed and you fail, just take that failure as a learning opportunity. Why did you fail? How can I come out of this failure and improve? Whether it's gonna be a good memory, hey, I made my 10,000 subscribers, or it's gonna be a failure, you learn from the process and hopefully you also have fun. Take care of your physical health. Your physical health is as important as your mental health. So just take care of it. Don't eat too much junk food, do sports, go out for a run, you get the jinx. Jinx? I don't know, I think that's an English word. Cultivate a positive mindset. Stop looking at the negative side of things. There's always a bright side. There's always a negative side, but there's always a bright side. If you don't get to your 10,000 subscribers and you go to 2,000, where were you when you started? If I get 1,000, hey, I gain 350 followers. It was not 10K, but it was around there. Well, around there, close enough. Practice self-compassion. Just take care of yourself. If you don't get to the 10, again, if you don't get to the 10,000 subscribers, you'll get close enough, don't kill yourself or don't beat yourself up if you don't get to 10,000 subscribers, you'll be close enough. Prioritize self-care. Just take care of yourself, as simple as that. Surround yourself with positive influences. Just surround yourself with people that you care about, that are gonna be helping you throughout this journey and are gonna support you. Seek continuous learning. Just embrace a positive mindset, a growing mindset and learn. Just learn, continue learning until the day you die, you're gonna continue learning. There's always something to learn. And if you cannot find something to learn, I don't know. Step out of your comfort zone. Just do something new every now and then. Step out of your comfort zone. Don't stay at home all day. Stepping out of my comfort zone while uploading videos online and exposing myself to the world in not my native language, which is English. So yeah, Spanish is my native language if you didn't realize. Practice effective communication. Just be effective in your communication. If you can just cut the, the chatter, the words, just don't say things for saying things, but be straight to the point. Let go of toxic influences. Whether that's alcohol, whether that's drugs, or whether that's people, just know when you need to let go of this toxic, toxic person that's not helping you in your life and it's actually getting you behind. Embrace mindfulness. As much as you need to take care of your physical health, you also need to take care of your mental health. Whether that's by journaling, whether that's by going for a nice walk, whether that's by meditating, just Embrace mindfulness and practice it on a day to day or week by week. Manage your time effectively. I mean, we're adults. We don't need to waste time. If social media is wasting your time, delete social media. If you're just spending too much time on YouTube, just close this video and 
go do something else with your life. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. If you're still watching, embrace failures and setbacks. Failures are a stepping stone to your success and your failures and the setbacks will still be a le valuable learning lesson for where you actually want to be in the future. Practice forgiveness. This one is a little bit controversial, but just forgive people in the sense that if you hold yourself to being have, having a grunge, I think you say it like that, being mad at someone and having negative emotions on yourself, that won't really be helping you in the future. Take responsibilities for your actions. As simple as that. If you fucked up, you fucked up. Just own it and deal with it. Embrace simplicity. And this one goes a little bit with my intentional living mindset, which is just be simple. Do you really need a Versace bag? Do you really need to complex things? If it's simple, it's simple. Enough is enough. Yeah, just live intentionally. Embrace uncertainty. Life is completely unpredictable. To be honest, if 15 years ago you would have told me that I would be living in another country speaking English for yeah, day to day, which I used to hate completely, it's actually crazy to see how life can change from one day to another just because of your actions or because of where you want to be and how you get there. Just embrace it. Practice active listening. This one is a little bit difficult to engage in, in the sense that sometimes you try to listen to people but you're trying to multi multitask at the same time and you're not gonna be able to listen to them if you're doing something else. So just try to concentrate your full attention on them. So there's three levels of listening. There's listening on yourself, listening to one person, so one-on-one, -on -one, and listening to everything around you. Let's say that you're having a conversation in the park and you hear the next person crying and you're having a conversation with your friend. That's third level of communication. Just try to practice more level two, where you actually focus more on themselves. And if they say something towards you that makes you think, step out of that zone and keep focusing on the conversation and try to listen to what they say. Nurture a supportive network. This one goes hand in hand with eliminating the toxic, uh, toxic, ah, the toxic people in your life. Because if you have surround yourself with people that support you and what you do, you will succeed. Embrace a healthy work-life balance. Needless to say, we don't live to work, we work to live. Just remember that there's life outside of work and your kids are gonna remember that you missed picking them out from school because you had to work, but you're not gonna remember that you were late for a deliverable. Practice financial responsibility. I mean, come on, we're adults. Just be responsible with the money. Don't overspend on bullshit that you don't need. Embrace the power of no. If something doesn't align with your thoughts, if doesn't, uh, something doesn't align with your goals or vision in life, embrace it. Just say no and learn how to say no and stick with it. But I always knew it would come if I kept walking the road. Ugh, I got daddy issues. Rolled up inside my mommy issues. Got bad teeth. I don't smile in my awkward pictures. Can't do intimate because talking pretty hard with people. 